This is a News 3 Now special report. Thanks for watching the special report from Channel 3000. All 72 Wisconsin counties have now confirmed at least one case of COVID-19. Langlade and Taylor counties in north central Wisconsin both confirmed their first cases today. We've also surpassed 13,000 confirmed cases in the state with almost 600 new cases today. This map shows the progression from March 17th to today. There have been 481 deaths from complications of the disease, 14 of them new today. Daily testing capacity has also increased. We've seen 2,500 more tests today compared to yesterday. 58% of all positive cases have now recovered. Today, 8% of all COVID-19 tests came back positive. That is a jump from yesterday when that number was around 3%. The last time the percentage was that high was on Saturday. We are not meeting the state's criteria for a 14 day overall decrease in the percentage of cases that are positive. That was one of the metrics established in the Badger bounce back plan that has since been struck down. However, health officials are still tracking the data. Another criteria not being met is a downward trend in cases among health care workers. Governor Evers announced $25 million in federal funding from the CARES Act will go to a new rental assistance program. The program will help residents struggling during the pandemic pay for owed rent, security deposits and other services. To be eligible, applicants must have a household income at or below 80% of the county median income. Payments of up to $3,000 will be paid directly to the landlord. Also from federal funding, $50 million will go to a new program to support farmers. That's the amount of money farmers requested from the governor about a month ago to help them get through the pandemic. Farmers can apply for aid through the Wisconsin Department of Revenue. An additional $15 million will go to a food security initiative to help food banks, pantries, and other nonprofit organizations during the pandemic.